Why do so many hotels in Ethiopia now require full USD payments from foreign nationals? Welcome to the Ethiopian logisticians community. In a significant development, hotels across Ethiopia are now reinstating full US dollar payments for foreign nationals. This change comes after the National Bank of Ethiopia, or NBE, reinforced a directive that had been in place for years but saw lax enforcement recently. Asta Solomon, the president of the Addis Ababa Hotels Association, explained to Capital that the directive allowing hotels to collect service fees in US dollars from foreign nationals has always existed. However, due to low control by authorities, its implementation had become lax. Asta Solomon says the directive was already in place at the legal level, but the control was low, so foreign nationals could only pay for the services used by the hotels where they were staying. This change occurred as the gap between the black market exchange rate and the official rate widened, leading foreign visitors to opt for payments in Ethiopian burr instead of US dollars. Asta Solomon says, the majority of hotels receive service fees in dollars under a pre-issued license with the National Bank, but over time its implementation has become looser. The government has now moved to tighten the controls, requiring hotels to accept full payments from foreign nationals in US dollars only. Asta Solomon sees this as an opportunity for Ethiopia to benefit from an inflow of foreign currency. This retightening of controls benefits not just the hotels, but the country as well, providing an opportunity to obtain much needed foreign currency. This move is also seen as an effort to encourage more diaspora arrivals to Ethiopia, as the government has reduced the number of transactions allowed in dollars at hotels. With the NBE's renewed enforcement of the directive, hotels across Ethiopia are now ensuring foreign guests pay the complete service fees in US dollars once again. Now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of this policy. On the plus side, it helps stabilize the local currency and brings in much needed foreign exchange. However, it can be inconvenient for travelers who may not have easy access to US dollars. Stay tuned for more updates on this and other important developments in Ethiopia. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest news and insights. And if you found this video helpful, please consider supporting our channel by using the Super Thanks feature. Your support helps us bring more valuable content to you.